Hi, this is Harimohan Varshne and uh, in this uh, video I am going to uh, give a brief introduction on uh, ANSYS uh, linear and nonlinear dynamic analysis. So here what we are going to cover that is definition and purpose, type of uh, dynamic analysis that is model harmonic response spectrum random vibration transient analysis and the general equation of motion last one is uh, basic concepts and terminology so in static structural analysis uh, uh, it is used to do steady state uh, uh, loading condition but it may not be sufficient if it, especially if the load varies with time and in case of dynamic structural analysis, it is used to determine the behavior of structures subjected to loads uh, that vary with time or frequency. So, inertia and possibly damping of the structure play an important role in case of dynamic uh, structural analysis. So, dynamics also includes the study of free vibrations that is oscillation of a structure uh, after the force causing the motion has been removed. So it is very, it is crucial to understand the vibration characteristics of a system. So you can see in the picture, this is famous Tacoma narrow bridge. So it collapsed under steady wind load uh, during a 42 mph wind storm on November 7th. So it is very important to understand the vibration characteristics. So dynamic analysis usually takes into account one or more of the followings like uh, in free vibration, natural vibration frequency and shapes that is more shapes. Uh, forced vibration that uh, example is here crankshafts, other rotating machines. Seismic shock loads uh, that is earthquake and blast. Random vibrations rocket launch and road transport etc general time wearing uh, loads that is car crash hammer blow so, so each situation is handled by a specific type of dynamic uh, analysis so in model analysis uh, this is used to determine structures vibration characteristics that is natural frequencies and mode shapes. So you can see here an automobile tailpipe assembly could shake apart if its natural frequency match, matched that of the engine. So during uh, like there are if there are two systems, so we have to know about the natural frequency of both uh, systems so that uh, there may not be any resonance uh, if any frequency is matching with each other. So that is very important to know natural frequency of both systems. Harmonic analysis uh, is used to determine uh, structure's response to study harmonic loads that is in sensorial varying loads. So you can see here rotating machines exert steady alternating force on bearing and support structures. So these force cause different deflection and stresses depending on the speed of the rotation. Response spectrum analysis. Uh, it, it is used to determine how a component responds to earthquakes. So you can see skyscraper, uh, power plant, cooling towers and other structures must withstand multiple short duration transient shock impact loadings. So common in seismic events. So harmonic 
this response spectrum analysis you to know how our component is going to respond to these these kind of short uh, earthquakes and other impacts also random vibration analysis uh, it is used to determine how a component responds to a random vibrations so this kind of uh, analysis you to do in case of a spacecraft and uh, aircraft components so that uh, it, it can be seen like whether it is with standing random loading of varying varying frequency for a sustained time period transient analysis used to calculate a structure response to time varying loads so we can see here some two examples are there on automobile fender should be able to withstand low speed impact but to form under higher speed impact and second one is this tennis racket frame that is designed to resist the impact of a tennis ball and yet reflect somewhat so uh, out of these uh, uh, dynamic analysis only transient analysis in non linear analysis so in case of model analysis input requirement there is nothing input requirement so input uh, in the sense of load not the boundary boundary condition so here we we were we are you going to apply boundary condition but there will be no load output will be natural frequency and corresponding mode shapes stress strain profile so non linearity this is linear analysis harmonic sinusoidal varying excitation across a range of frequency that is input to the harmonic and output will be sinusoidal varying response at each frequency minimum max response over frequency range this is also non linear uh, it is linear uh, analysis so spectrum uh, here spectrum is representing the response to a specific time history that will be the input to this spectrum analysis or uh, output will be maximum response if the model was subjected to the time history this is also linear analysis random analysis power spectrum representing probability distribution of excitation so this will be the input here and the probability distribution of response will be output this is also linear analysis in case of transient time varying loads will be there as an input and output will be time varying response so this is non linear analysis now how we can identify whether which uh, which uh, analysis we should do dynamic analysis so uh, you can see here so if gravity loads are there rms gravity these are there then we have to do static analysis and if uh, these words are mentioned like drop test rail impact drop shock uh, 30 ms half sign then we have to do transient analysis free vibra vibration here these words are coming resonance uh, modes natural frequency fundamental frequency mode shape so then we have to do model analysis if you see vibration here earthquake seismic sr ss spectrum response spectrum these words are there then we have to do response spectrum analysis other one is sine sweep frequency sweep rotating imbalance harmonic analysis so here we have to do harmonic analysis if it is coming random vibes phd asd a spectral density accelerated long life then we have to do random vibration analysis so this is the general equation of motion so the non linear governing equation for the transient dynamic analysis is this one uh, it includes inertia 
where this uh, mass matrix is there and this is uh, nodal oscillation vector here damping force will be there uh, this is see this is representing structural damping matrix and uh, this is nodal velocity vector and the third one is stiffness for so this include uh, structural stiffness metric and nodal displacement uh, vector is also there so this uh, if displacement is there means it, it is showing uh, that uh, th this is non linear a uh, term is there this uh, stiffness so source of non linearity this one is there so non linearity is allowed only in a full transient analysis uh, this is basic concept and terminology. Free vibration takes uh, place when a system oscillates in the absence of external force. And uh, natural frequency, a system under free vibration will vibrate at one or more its natural frequency. So a natural frequency is a property of the dynamic system established by its mass and stiffness distribution. And in case of forced vibration, vibration that take place under the external forces. Resonance. In forced vibration, when the force is oscillatory, the system is forced to oscillate at the excitation frequency. So if the frequency of excitation coincides with one or more of the natural frequency, then the resonance will occur and the system will collapse. So damping is an energy dissipation mechanism that cause vibration to di diminish over time and eventually stop. If a damping is small, it has very small influence on the natural frequency. So in the next tutorial, we are going to do this uh, harmonic response analysis. It will contain a static model and then harmonic so in a static we are going to give us some boundary condition and we will apply rotational speed uh, here and then it will go to model analysis where we will get some um, uh, modes and uh, shapes then uh, input will be given to this uh, harmonic response so there in harmonic response we will apply some acceleration okay thank you